Over the past few days, there's been a lot of talk about the new DJI Fly app, okay? And the main talking point is basically for the Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2, that now the DJI Fly app has removed the compass orientation from the bottom, and it's now hidden within the map feature. Now, basically, if you have an iOS device, an iPhone or a iPad, then obviously you will have had experience of this. However, us Android users that have basically got other Samsung or Google phones or other Android devices, we haven't actually had the update yet. Okay, so what I'm going to show you in this video is basically how to actually force the update on your Android phone so then you can get the new DJI app as well. So there you go, then you can see this is my device. So we're just going to click the DJI app, go to app info and scroll down. As you can see, this is version 1.2.1. .1. Now, if you're aware, the latest version is 1.2.2. .2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back out with that. I'm going to go down to Google search and I'm going to click DJI downloads. So that's all you need to do. You need to down, uh, click or type in DJI downloads. Okay. So then we're going to, that's obviously the DJI site. So we're going to go to the download center. I'm going to click DJI Apps, and then finally DJI Fly, because that's the one we use for the Mini 2 and the Air 2, okay? So, as you could see, both of these version 1.1, uh, sorry, 1.2.2 .2 have been released for iOS and for Android. The only trouble is, on the Google Play Store, you cannot actually download it yet. Not entirely sure why, but it's not uncommon for iOS to get these updates on new apps before Android. But anyway, this is the workaround. So if you decide that you trust DJI more than the American government, you can go ahead and click download Android APK. Okay. Now I've already downloaded it just to test this run. So I'm just going to download it again so you can see what happens. So we're just downloading that file now. Hopefully it won't take too long. There we go. So we're going to click open. So do you want to install this app? Uh, your existing data will not be lost. So we're going to install that. Click open. That's going to take us to the DJI usual page. And we are connected. Okay. So what we're going to do now is obviously I've already got my drone turned on and the controller turned on. So we're going to click go fly. So we're going to skip the pre-flight check, do a show again. Right, so compass calculation required, just ignore that because I'm not flying right at this moment in time. Right, so as you can see, that is just sat in front of my green screen because that's where I record this video, nice and simple. So as you can see, down at the bottom corner, the compass has now gone, okay? So where you find it is you need to open up by clicking the bottom left-hand corner, the map. So as you can see, very, very, it's very, very small, don't get me wrong. Okay, you need to open up that little app there where it says the little arrow in the bottom right hand corner. And then you get this new style compass. Okay, so basically that is where it is and how you download it. All right, so there has been a suggestion if you haven't already watched my other video where i basically comment on the gimbal tilt issue there will be a link above my head now please go ahead and watch that video now it has been suggested that this app version actually fixes that problem however obviously i wanted to bring you this little tutorial video first on how to install the app on your android device and then what i'm going to hope to do later on in today is if the weather keeps as calm as what it is at the moment. I'm gonna take the drone out and I'm going to go test it for myself. Okay, so I will report back and see whether that does indeed fix the issues that I have found using this app version. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video and found it useful. Like I said, just a quick tutorial. If you do have obviously the old app and you're wanting to get this new compass and yeah, cut long story short, very, very early thoughts on this. I quite like it, okay? Now, I know that might go against the grain for some people, but the reason for me is my compass was never, ever accurate anyway. So quite often when I was doing range tests, people was commenting to me, saying, you're not facing the drone, you're not facing the drone, and I was facing the drone. You know, it's just for, for some reason, even though I'd calibrated my phone compass and everything was fine, when it actually came on to flying, um, as soon as I got up in the air, 
it literally my compass wasn't ever really accurate i quite like this new app i quite like the new display um i don't mind it whatsoever um i mean ten, i tend to just fly with the map anyway so that doesn't really bother me um but yeah i don't mind it whatsoever but guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And obviously, I just wanted to show you this little tutorial. Now, obviously, you do this off your own back. It's not on the Play Store yet, but obviously, the, the APK is on DJI's site. So I would assume they wouldn't really put that on there if it was unstable or wasn't fit for purpose. So I just wanted to pass you this little tutorial so you can go do it yourself at home. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos and see you again soon.